everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Cindy here, and it is morning. I'm still on my first cup of coffee. Um, we're going to do a video today on using trash. I think my cat just found a bead on the floor. <laughs> and um, making it pretty. When I was on the plane, <laughs> and no, I did not drink these. <laughs> Um, there was a gentleman sitting next to me. He was in the military, and yes, I did thank him for his service and yada yada. But anyways, um, he was drinking some Jack Daniels, and they were going to throw these bottles out. And I'm like, may I please have those? I'm sure. So we have three little Jack Daniels bottles, which I think are so cute. And what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to make these. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to turn out, but I have an idea in my mind. I've got these two faces here. These are from um, Relics and Architectures that are partnering with Canvas Corp. These little faces, and they have this little thing on top of them. I don't know if, you know what, I can get that out. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. Anyways, I have those two little faces, and then I have, this is just done with um, air dry clay, uh, Crayola air dry clay, and I put it in one of the molds that I have. And um, so we have another tiny face here. I'm going to use those, I hope. Three Jack Daniel bottles. This is, you know, all the crap they give you in a prescription tells you, you know, how bad it is for you, but they want you to take it to feel better. Yeah, whatever. That's what that is. Just a couple envelopes here that I'm going to use. I have an idea what I'm going to put on these. Now, <laughs> back, back years and years and years ago, I used to make dolls. And they were, um, I call them shelf sitters. They were just little, uh, they had a little wooden base. And then I would decorate them with fabric and faces, and I always use some type of a hat on them. So I dug this out of my stash. I can't believe I still have them. This is how old they are. They're starting to turn color. Um, I don't. I couldn't tell you when they were whatever made, but I think I might. I might alter some of these. These are okay changing color because I'm going to use sprays on them, so they'll they'll change anyways. But I may be using a couple of those. Um, let's see, what else am I going to use? This, here's a couple of angel wings. I might be making them into angels, not sure yet. I have these little baskets, uh, maybe. These little fans, uh, maybe. We'll see. And then I dug out, um, this is a, a box that I have that has like little trims and little ribbons and leftover pieces of lace and, you know, like these guys just leftover stuffs these hearts so anyways I may dig through this box and see if I can you know find something to use on it as well and then I also have oh, let me put this aside Hold on. stuff's in the way over here then I also brought out my lace box this is just one of them um, this has just got all kinds of lace in it so that's what I'm gonna do and you're going to be with me to figure out if this is actually going to work or not. We will find out. These are all cleaned. I brought them home and I threw them um, in the sink and did a whole wash. Hmm. Doesn't even smell like Jack Daniels anymore. So I did a wash on these and let me get my head together and let's see what we're going to do. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a mess. <laughs> I am going to try. I've got a bunch of glitter out, and um, i got too much stuff here. I opened up my bottles. Now, what I want to do, I want to put some um, glittery stuff in these. I think I'm going to do a pink, a purple, and a blue. And here's the blue for that. Here's the purple. That's just glitter. That's a fine glitter. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see what else we got here. Where's my... All right, here's the pinks I'm going to do. Here's the blues. I need something else to win with my purple. That's blue. Hmm. 
You know what? I think I'm just going to do this into the purple. Okay. There's some more glitter i got to put in my box. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some glitter in these. So I'm going to start out with my purples. And I'm just going to put a bunch on my paper. And I'm going to have fun. We're just playing. So this is all just coming from my head. So I'm going to take my paper. You know, I bought a small funnel for this exact reason. Do you think I can find it anywhere? No. I cannot find that funnel anywhere. I have looked and looked. I spent the last 10 minutes looking for it. And uh, yeah, I'm done doing that. So I want to play. So we're just putting our glitter in here. And you know what? I think I want more. So let's put some more in there. Let's throw a little bit of the gold in there. I don't want that. I'm do that with the blue. So we're... Do, 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 do. That's actually kind of cool. Let's throw some of that in there. You know, I very rarely use this kind of... Oh, see? That one's not even open. Um, very rarely use glitter just because it's such a mess. Throw a little bit of that in there. But I thought, what the hey, let's get some glitter out and let's play. Uh, let's see. Let's throw some of these little balls in there. Have I opened it? Yep. These are like little tiny BB balls. Um, then I have these little packets of stuffs that... Um, I got when we were doing a glitter share um, back in Crazy Island Family when we were doing the uh, um, swaps. So I got a bunch of little bags of these. So let's throw this in there. one of them. Now I want to see what it looks like. Yeah, I'll probably have to take these out in the sink. And just a little glitter bottle. Yay! Alright, I will take these out to the sink and um, fill them up. So this is my purple. I'm going to put the lid on it just so I don't spill it. But she's going to be a purple lady. I like her. All right, next, let's do a pink. Let's put this purple back. Gold might look good in the pink. All right, let's do a pink. Silver and gold. It was so funny, <laughs> the guy that um, I was sitting next to on the plane he, uh, what a super nice guy. We just got chatting about mixed media and, you know, he was checking out what I do and that kind of stuff. And, um, he's like, he kept asking me questions. <laughs> I was kind of surprised. Um, he kept asking me questions about, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? That kind of thing. And it was really cool. So I shared with him and, and, uh, he was nice enough to let me have his bottles. Honestly, I think he was just bored of the flight, so that's why he asked me all this stuff, but you never know. You know, I thanked him for his sacrifice, and he was telling me, he says, you know, he goes, we don't really look at it that way. And uh, I said, well, you guys are sacrificing a lot. You're sacrificing, you know, your family time, because he was talking about going overseas and that kind of stuff, and... He goes, we don't look at it that way. because we look at it as this is our job, and this is what we're here to do, is to defend our country. And it was just really interesting talking to him. Okay, so there's the pink. Now we're going to do the blue. It might have a little bit of pink in it, but I don't care. Not open. Blue. All right, let's throw a little bit of this in with the blue. And 
and I notice I'm getting more uh, loose with this as I do it. It's like, okay, yeah, let's use up glitter, yeah! <laughs> Throw some more blue in there. So I might have to go back and add more to my pinks and uh, my purple, but for now. All right, so there's my blues. All right, now I'll be wearing glitter for the next four days. Okay, let me go fill these up, and I will be right back. All right, so here's what they turned out looking like right here. Woohoo! Love them! Pink, blue, and purple. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, look at this. I have a helper. This is Abby. She's my torty. She's a good girl. She is 13 years old. And she has a thyroid problem. Anyways, enough about my cat. All right, let me bring it back in. Um, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is this is just one of the books um, that I uh, have been messing around in. So I got these out. I'm going to um, spray these hats because I want them to have a enough chance to dry. Now what I brought out is these are from um, Marabou. Alright, Abby, your hair is getting on things. It drove me nuts. You need to get down. Anyways, this is from Marabou. And this one is, is acrylic paint. It's just a spray acrylic. And what I want to do is I just want to spray them completely on both sides and then give them a chance to dry. I probably overdid it on the spray, but that's all right. All right, so that one is done. Let it dry. We'll do a purple one. What's up, Abadu? This purple isn't as purple as I thought it was gonna be. Which is okay, I mean, it's all right. Purple. And we're gonna do the blue. More of a turquoise. What are you doing, huh? She's watching. She's saying, what's going on, mama? Ah, ah, ah. No. All right, now this is just, no, you can't have it. She wants to help. No. 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 What are you doing? All right, this is some glimmer mist that I just recently purchased. So I want to put a little bit of this on each of the hats. Now she's bored. She's ready to move on. Sometimes sprays get the best of me. It's got a little glimmer on it. Good enough. Glimmer mist. There we go. And then this is just simply sheer. But I want to put a little bit of it on here. Why not? You know? Oh, I like that. Actually, I like that color better. So let's do the whole thing. All right, you need to get down. All right, down you go. Go. All right, so I am going to sit these aside and let them dry along with my pages here. Just got to figure out where to put them. I'll be right back. I just had to show you this. Just because I could, I took the hats off and then I just put these two pages together. Let's get a and just did this. Come off a sugar snap or whatever cereal. There they are. So I am gonna let that dry. Now, uh, let's get back to our angels or our whatever, our little, little peoples here. All right, so while they're drying, I wanna start, let's start with, let's start with the purple. Yeah, let's start with the purple. 
I'm going to take, I want to find a bigger enough lace. Yeah, I want something like this. I don't really want to cover up the whole jacket. Well, I'm going to cover up it anyway, so. But what I'm trying to decide is, do I want to go all the way around? Um, pretty. Noob, 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 noob. I really kind of want it to show that it is a Jack Daniels bottle, but then again, I don't know. I kind of like that. That one's pretty so far. This is how the th thought process works in my brain. It's pretty much by um, trial and error, and you know, let's see what we can find and that sort of thing. I don't know if I want to make them all the same, but then again, I may. Okay, let's see what this one is. Yeah, no, that one's too big and I don't like that. Okay. So we're going to go with this. It's going to go right below the Jack Daniels. Now for this, um, I don't want to use my hot glue gun because I don't want big sticky glue on here. So I've got three different glues out here that I'm going to play with. This one is just an almighty bond. I have no idea. That's all it says on it. Um, it came from the Daiso store um, when I was with Jeep, not Daiso. Um, a Korean store when I was with uh, Gina out in Vegas, I believe. So, anyways, it smells awful. But let's use this. And I'm wondering now, I don't know, you know what? I think that might dry yellow, so we're not going to use that. Sorry about that. We're not going to use that because I don't want it yellow. This one is. The ultimate unbelievable. This is from Aileen's, and I believe it dries clear. So we're going to use this one instead. And we are just going to play. of things I may end up covering up that Jack Daniels but let's we'll see if we can get it to not do that. Scissors. Come on. Stay. It looks like, okay, I can tell you right now I don't like that glue. It's very nasty. Hold on a second. All right, so I may use that glue later, but um, I, I can't right now because I've been having a lot of problems with my fingers cracking, um, drying and cracking, and I think a lot of it's from the glue. So anyways, I got smart. I cut a couple little pieces off. We're just going to use the tacky glue. I don't think that um, I don't think we should have an issue with that. Yeah, I uh, my fingers keep cracking and bleeding, and man, does it hurt. So all right. So we're going. Oops, I don't want it that bad. I want that in the back. Not in the back. I just think these are going to be so cute. Okay, and it looks like I am going to end up, see that one's not, maybe I can keep it down a little bit. Okay, let's take the third one, and I'm 
that. Doo, 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 doo. So funny, I just saw these, you know, bottles and I thought, well, they'd be such cute little, little whatevers. So, and this is a perfect week to take trash and make it pretty, you know. Otherwise, these would have ended up in the landfill for how many years? Instead, they'll be in my studio for how many years? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, all three of them have this piece of lace. Wow, that dry, that would dries really quick. That's not too bad. So, they all have their little lace on them right now. Now, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these faces. And I have an idea. Um, where is my... I need my uh, metallics. That's what I'm looking for. My metallic paint. catastrophe over here all right so I've got my metallic paints here and I have gold and I have silver I don't want a whole lot but I want it to just actually that's more than enough right there and then a little bit of silver come on oh too much that's all right all right, so what I wanted to do is I want to go in with silver first. Okay, hmm, looks like that one needs to be um, stirred up. Anyways, I want to go in with silver first. I want to paint these guys all silver. Silver and gold. She's got something in her eye. It's orange. Hmm. That's all right. We're going to cover it up with gold anyways. So they're all silver. And you guys, I'm making this up as I go along. I really don't know what exactly I want to make these into, but I have kind of an idea. So we're just going to work it as we go along, right? This guy doesn't have a thing on his head, which is okay. This one's really tiny. This must be the baby. All right, there's the silver. I'm gonna take the gold. And I just wanna do like highlights. Maybe. There we go. I'm gonna need more than that. You guys see that? I don't know if you can see it in the light or not. Looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. This little guy. Okay. Let those dry really quick. Now, well, um, after I got my paints, I started thinking about how I'm going to put these on. And actually, Gina and I had talked about doing these yesterday, and this right here was her idea. And I like the idea. So, and that is I'm going to put some lace behind their faces. So I'm just taking off. I just had a piece of lace that I cut a, a, a part out of that I wanted to use. And for example, like this one. It's going to go right here. You know what? I wanted to glue these tops on, but I think there's going to be much stuff on there. Nobody's going to open them. And I'm going to put that right there. So, I'll clean this up so I don't stick my hand in it. <clears throat> and we are going to... Oh no! My glue's undone. 
Jackie Glee, Jackie Glee. Stay. I hope I'm not driving you guys crazy. I'm having fun doing this. Alright, I want glue on the back of this. Like I said, I'm not sure how they're going to come out, but meh. I was telling Gina, we, we were talking last night, and I said, yeah, this is what I'm going to do a video on today. And she's like, she goes, that's a really cool idea. She goes, what about this, this, and this? So we just talked over different things, and I was like, yeah, we'll have to see how it works out. So yeah, I'm going to put that top right there. Because my face is going to go on here. So let's glue this down really well. We might have to use a different glue. Either that or stand here and hold it, which I don't really want to do. Stay. Stay says me. It's not staying. Alright, I'm going to have to get out another glue. Because it's not staying. Let's go back to this ultimate, which I don't like. But we'll use it and see if it'll work. It works. And this is the problem. This is why, because I'm always using my fingers for glue. Come on. That works. <laughs> Let's use this for glue instead of my fingers. Come on, stay down there. Let's heat set that and let it dry. Let's just dry those up while I'm at it. Okay, that one works. Do the same thing with this one. Only I'm going to put glue, just funky glue the whole way around it. Wow, that glue does work really good. It's called the Ultimate Glue from Aileen's. Aileen's, Aileen's. All right, and then this other one, because the face is so tiny, I wanted to do a smaller piece of lace, which I found. So we're going to do this smaller one. I guess the small one's going to be the purple one, huh? Because that's what it ends up looking like don't think I need it on the top, which is okay. Okay. Alright, so now that we got these three on, I'm going to take these guys. I'm going to leave this thing in them for now. Maybe not. Maybe I'll take that thing out. How about I take that thing out? <laughs> it's funny. Alright, so I'm going to paint this. Actually, I'm going to paint right on the back of this. Is it going to stay? Is that a little more 
glue. Let's add the glue here. There's one. Maybe I should have left that other one in. Too tiny big. I need a tiny, tiny, tiny. This is another thing paintbrushes are good for. Take that out. Alright, and we're gonna you're not staying on there. We gotta get you to stay on there first of all. Alright. I'm gonna put glue right here. It's gonna stay there. We hope. <laughs> like I said, this is play as I go. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> so right now we're just putting together the basics. All right. So these have to dry now. Since I have the glue out. Oops, that's the wrong tap. Um, <clears throat> since I have the glue out, I want to see. I want to put the wings on. Thinking. I may, which I'm going to try it. I'm going to cut it right here. Yeah, that's going to be better. I'm actually going to glue the wings. And hope like heck this is going to stay. Be a very small. Um, what can I do? Ooh, ooh. I gotta wait for stuff to dry. Get back on there. You know what? We might be using our E6000. I know this stuff will hold it. I used to use this when I uh, did stained glass. Alright, let me let some of this dry and then we'll come back and keep going. I'll be back. Alright guys, so I had to play with it a little bit and figure out exactly how I was going to do it. Now I am using these hats, but I'm not really using it as a hat. I'm using it more kind of like a halo, even though it looks like a hat from the back. And then I decided the wings I wanted to put on the halo. So now I'm just trying to make sure I can get it to stick in enough places so that it won't come off. So I'm going to do the other two, and then we're going to come back and finish decorating these little guys. So I'll be back. All right, so here's what they look like right now. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I'm going to let these guys completely dry before we go on with it, because I'm afraid if I mess around with them too much, it's all going to come off, and it's going to make me unhappy. So we'll be back as soon as these guys are dry, and we'll decorate them up. All right, guys, um, these are dry, and I'm going to do some more dec some decorating on them. But I want to show you something never to do. <laughs> these are all letters. And what they were is those little tiny boxes that you got in Michaels or AC Moore. They were like this. Well, when I ended up moving the studio, um, a bunch of them fell, and I said, oh, to heck with it. And I threw them all back into a bag like this. Well, now um, I have to take a project. One of these days I have to sit down and get them all sorted out again and back into little blocks. So, don't ever do this. It's a pain in the butt. Anyways, we are going to, I wanted some stamps. So we're gonna do some decorating. I just gotta get these out of the way. Hold on, bring out a little bit. And I found um, two of the blocks that are pretty much put together, so. And then they'll end up in here. But um, for now, it's gonna have to work. So, what I've gotten out now, these are pretty dry. They're pretty stable, so I, I'm okay with uh, messing with them right now. So, what I keep saying so, and I'm sorry, I keep saying so. What I've got now, this is a jar that's got all kinds of flowers in it. Um, any, dusty, any kind of flower you can think of is in here. So, I might be using some of these. We'll see. 
this jar has um, all kinds of beads and sparkly things and pearls and just you name it it's in here and actually looking at these these all look pretty big I'm not sure if I'll use any of these but I'm gonna keep it here on the table anyways um, this one's got big pieces in it too <laughs> now that I pulled them off the shelf and I'm looking at them I'm like I don't know although I do want one of these dragonflies maybe yeah, I do want a dragonfly. Oh, these are the little pieces that I made out of the pearl, the pearl um, pens. Let's see what else is in here. I like that heart, but it's too big. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fast forward through this process um, just because I'm going to play. And um, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. And... Let's go find some more goodies. I'll be right back. Okay, let me bring you in. Um, I've got some odds and ends stuff out here. I ended up going and finding smaller stuff, like I have these small bling and, and this. And what I'm going to do to start out is we're going to put one of these on here. I like this bling tape. pushing it down so it sticks and sorry my hands are shaking that's part from the pain meds I'm on um, part from the inhaler I have to take that kind of stuff so and I want to do another one or two around the lace now these um, all are not going to be decorated the same because I don't have well I may not have um, all the colors of everything so I'm just going to do them as I see fit. I'm going to put this here, just around the bottom of this lace, and just have fun decorating them, right? I would love to see what you guys come up with. Um, if you can find a small anything, um, even if it's an empty uh, craft glue bottle, you know, it'd just be fun. I like her. Do I need to put it around the back? You know what? I'm going to have this piece. Let me see if it goes all the way. Almost. Let's do it around the back. Close enough. Close enough. There. Okay, so we're going to start getting her. Now, I pulled out um, these flowers from um, one of the boxes I have. I don't know whether I want the pink or the purple, but um, I thought, you know, these would be really cool. This is uh, this flower came from a tutorial from Secret Soto. Um, she did these quite a while ago, and these are our nail polish flowers. And let me tell you, when you first start to make them, it's kind of rough. It takes a bit to figure out how to get the polish to stay in the little wires um, but once you get it down they are so much fun to make and they're so pretty so I'm going to um, I just stuck it in here and then I'm just gonna bend this wire over hang on come back here I can't see it <laughs> I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it and not me and I just like that. I think that's pretty there. So we're going to put that there. What else are we going to use? I've got more goodies out here. Um, I want some small, like small plastic flowers. And I know I have them somewhere. I've just had to figure out where. Let's see what we have in here. This is a thing of nail art gems. Um, and it's just, they're really cute. There's some really cool stuff in here. Let's see what's in this one. See how tiny they are? 
but they have cute little things like this little blue flower. And what else are we going to put on her? Nothing else from in there. Let's try another one. Yeah, I end up losing 90% of this stuff. See, here's two of them. Another little flower. So I have two flowers. That's cool. Um, these are cute. That would go cute. Um, one of the ladies. A little purple flower. So I'm just picking out things that um, I know I'll probably use. This stuff is just really, really, really tiny. Let's see what's in here. Look at this little bunny. Isn't he cute? Okay, there's a pink flower. That's a Hello Kitty flower. If I could take off the Hello Kitty. Oh, the pink one. Alright, let me dig out what I'm going to use. And I don't want to bore you guys to death, so I'll be back.
right, guys. So these are things that I knew I wanted to do with this. Um, I still have to, I want to put a word on her, and it's going to go here. Um, I'm still trying to decide. I might, I'm going to see if I can find like a blue fuzzy, um, I'd like something like this to like go, kind of go around her face a little bit. Um, so I'm going to look for that. But the other two I'm going to decorate and then we'll just come back at the end and I'll show you the completed projects because this, if not, you're going to be sitting here for hours and hours and hours watching this. So, and I don't want that to happen. So we'll chat in a bit. Okay. Hey guys. Um, I have them done. We almost had a catastrophe. I ran out of pink bling, but that's okay. All right. So here they are. There's this beautiful girl and she's a glittering in her water and she says art and I've got her wings on her I got some butterflies my little flower up here I had so much fun making these I didn't do much to the back of them but that's okay they're gonna sit on my shelf so there's one here's my second one this one says joy and my J some reason went off the there's my joy same thing here this one is my pink one and yeah, I was on a Google Hangout. I was like, oh my God, I can't find my pink bling. And I found a few things, but I like it. There's Joy. And then we have, what did I put on this one? This one is fun. All right, so this is my little, I should say little, short, long bonus video. I'll lay them down so you guys can see them. And uh, I hope you find something that you can take in the trash department and make it pretty and kind of functional. I mean, these are going to be cute little shelf sitters. But whatever you do, make sure you share it with us. We would all love to see it. Tag us, tag myself, um, tag Ann, tag, tag Jerry, and tag um, Gina. Because we would love to see what you create. And we really enjoy doing this for you. So I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, we'll chat later. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!